Right. All right, I thought it was about time that I showed you guys and talked you through how I put this, this desk together. About to bring the camera out, but got one last piece of goodies to, to top off everything. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this, um, I was building that light in the last video, that big LED light. Um, I need something to clamp it so I can attach it to the tripod. Um, and uh, this is that clamp, so I've got it right here, people. I've got the piece. Ooh, I've dropped it. This is what I needed. This, I needed to put this on the um, on that light thing that I set up the other day, and it kind of clamps to the clamps to the light, and then I can put it onto the tripod using like this extension thing. <sighs> but I think I've got the wrong one because like that's as that's as tight as it goes. And like the bowl is like is like this is like that thin, you know, it's like a metal bowl, and it doesn't go any tighter than that. So I'm gonna have to like figure out how to bodge this together. I've already tried to bodge it together and it fell off the hook, so I'm gonna have to do like a, a more sturdy job of it so I don't break it. Annoying. Anywho, I've got a, uh, I've got this beat I need to cook up for um, Romeo Fresh. I've worked with him recently on a project, and like he's so underrated. So yeah, he just asked me to cook a, a couple of beats up for him, like you know that kind of guitar sort of Nick Mirror kind of style beat, so I want to go and see what I can put together right now. And yeah, see how the day goes. Oh, and by the way, I have also dropped a free webinar. If you didn't catch the last video, I've just dropped a free webinar for selling beats. I've highlighted the three biggest mistakes that new producers make. And in the webinar, I'm going to show you how to fix them and sort of show you step by step on and exactly what to do in order to fix those problems and in turn, you know, make more sales. So I'll put the link down below if you want to go and jump onto that. But yeah, let's get it. Oh yes. Right. All right. I thought it was about time that I showed you guys and talked you through how I put this this desk together. Basically, I didn't buy like a set desk. I just made life difficult for myself and tried to sort of, you know, make it more custom, I guess, or like bigger and longer than, than the desks that they were offering in Ikea. So first I got this trussel. This is like a wooden trussel. It's supposed to be stronger than like just table legs because you've got the triangle. Uh, triangles are supposed to be stronger than squares. I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, but it seems a lot stronger and it feels really sturdy. So I got a, I got a trussel. All this is from Ikea. Like the, the, the main part of the desk is all from Ikea. So. That's just like a preface before we get into this. So I got the trussel, that was $35. Uh, it was a wooden trussel, I just painted it black because I thought it looked nicer in black because I knew the desktop would have been wood. But anyway, that was the trussel, that's $35. On the other side is a um, set of desk drawers, again, Ikea. These are Alex drawers. They're quite expensive, they're like $80, I think, or $16, yeah, $70. No, 
90 euros, Jesus Christ. But they're really, really, really deep and like you can just fit so much stuff in them. Like I've barely filled these, they're so useful and they're well worth the money. They, they feel pretty solid too. And in the middle we just have like a table leg and that's just to support the table in the middle because it's really long. I didn't want the table to kind of like sag, sag in at all. So, so for the base, you know, for the drawers, for the trussle and for the, the leg, the table leg to hold everything up. That came in at that came in at 115 euros in total, so it'd be like 125, 130 dollars total. So it's not that expensive, and this is like a strong base because you've got this thick, deep uh, set of desk drawers that covers the whole width of the table. You've got the trussle that does the same thing, and then that table leg in the middle stops the middle from sagging, and you've still got loads of space like for your legs to move about, which is which is good. The next thing is the tabletop. This is the main part of the desk. Again, this was from Ikea and this actually isn't <clears throat> this actually isn't a tabletop. It's actually a kitchen work surface. I went for this because the size is like really nice. It's got a really long, really long, it's just really long. Two and a half meters long and like just under a meter deep. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, this was probably the most expensive part of the desk. It was 200 euros, which in dollars again is like 210, 215 dollars. But I do not regret getting this at all. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this looks. You know, it just looks really nice and, you know, just, it just looks good. And it's really sturdy as well, really strong. I've drilled through it a couple of times. I had no problems with it at all. So yeah, that was the tabletop. And that one, that is called the Pinard. I think it's called the Pinard tabletop. And if you're actually wanting to build one of these and get like, because because there are much cheaper options for, the tabletop for the kitchen work surface. If you want to get this from IKEA, you can order it online, but if you want to get it from the actual store, you need to go to like the kitchen section and ask somebody to order you a piece and then you have to go collect it from somewhere, which is weird. But next we have next we have these stands, these are called capita stands, and these are also from IKEA. And these are fairly cheap, but they're really, really strong. Um, I was quite surprised at how strong they were. These were like uh 15 euros, I think, 15 euros for two. So it comes in like a set of two. And they're these kind of like diagonal stands, which is perfect for this desk. If you look at the base of them, it looks like they're just drilled in, but at the bottom of them, there's like a really thick bolt that goes straight through the, the desk and underneath, and then you kind of screw it in from the bottom. And then on top of those stands is just a real cheap uh, shelf that I got from, I didn't get that from Ikea, I got that from just a, like a homeware store, my local homeware store, but you can get a cheap Ikea shelf as well. I think one's called, the lac shelf, just something nice and long. I think this, the measurements for this is 100, 120 by 25 centimeters. So 120 centimeters wide, 25 centimeters deep. More than enough space for the monitor, more than enough space for the speakers. And that cost less than 10 euros. I think it was like eight euros 50. So, you know, super cheap. So all in 330, 300 and all in, we're looking at about $340 um, or 340 euros. So, you know, 350, 380, I don't know how the conversions rate, but it was 340 euros, which I think for what, for everything, you know, for all of this, for all of that storage, for a real strong base, a huge, huge desktop, a ledge on top, you know, with some strong stands, I think that's a really good, a really good deal. So yeah, if you're wanting to buy a, a desk or you're wanting to build a desk up from scratch, I'd recommend getting the base and all, all the bits that it's gonna sit. Um, underneath, make sure that they're super strong. And I made this mistake and make sure that everything is the right height because you don't want to get a table like that's like 75 centimeters tall and then a set of drills that's 70 meters tall, 70 meters, 70 centimeters tall and then a trussle that's the wrong size as well. Make sure that everything's the same height. I made that mistake. I think I got a table leg that was like 10 centimeters too tall. So just be careful when you're sizing things up because I made, yeah, like I said, I made way too many mistakes doing that. But all in, you know, it's a good little desk. It takes a bit of work. You need some tools and you need some electric drills and stuff like that. But you know, if you can get your hands on that, then it's really, it's, it's, it's more than worth the money. And it's quite fun. I had quite a lot, quite a lot of fun building this. And uh, yeah, good from there.